Hey, Ruth. Good evening, Ruth. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. And are you sick? Yeah. Sorry about it. The flu, you got the flu. Welcome, welcome to your last class. Hey, you all, good evening. Hey. All right, all right, let's start because we have a lot to do today. This is your last class and we're gonna work on WH questions with did, was, and where. Let's check the structure of the questions. You see, where, plus did, plus subject, and the verb. That is the pattern. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 19, how do you say this? 19, how do you say 90? 90. 90, 90, thank you. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you? Good evening. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Any questions? Now let's check this. You already know the meaning of the WH question or the WH word. Where means donde, when, cuando, why, porque, how old, preguntar por la edad. What was, cuál era, and how was, como era, right? That, that's the interpretation or the translation we need to know, okay? What is the pattern? The pattern is WH words. Loss. Did. Loss. Subject.
plus verb. Y si hay complemento, plus complement. Got it? That is the pattern for the questions. You see it? See lo ven? Uh, sí. All right, good. And remember, when the questions go in pass, our answer must be in pass. Ah, teacher, ¿y cómo es eso? Ya, tiene que usar los verbos en pasado, right? Take a look. Where did you grow up? I grew up. When did you come? I came. Why did you become? Because I needed. This is a different. Uh, how old were you? I was. What was your major? It was. How was college? It was. Okay. Everything in past. Yes. In this verbs have to correspond the 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 question let's work here any questions preguntas comprende mucho o comprende poquito comprende un poquito what's the question no, la inquietud que yo tenía era esa de how old. Ah. Oh. ¿Qué significaba? Ah, oh, how old. Ya, ya, ya son. Oh, okay, thank you. Good. Now let's see if we can do this together. We have number one here. When and where were you born? Oh, we have letter C. Y dice, I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, help me with number two. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up, grew, grew, grew. I grew up, I grew up in Tokyo. Yes, that's the right. So it's letter F. F. Yeah. So number number two. Number two is F. Number three, when did you start a school? Class. Class, let's do it together. Letter G. Letter G, letter G, letter G, letter G. <laughs> okay, I entered, I entered first grade I in, entered. in 19, 19, what? Eight, 89. 89, 89. thank 89. you. 89. Thank you. Let's go with number four. How old were you then? I was six. Eight. I was six. Six. Letter A. Letter A. Number five. How was your first day of school? Eight. Eight. It was a little. It's quite. Scary. Uh, scary, a little scary. It was a little scary. Six. 
Letter D. Okay. Uh, Who was your first friend in the school? How does D say? Her name was Her Lisa. name was Yumiko. Her name was Yumiko. Letter D. Thank you. Seven. What Letter was B. he or she like? Letter? She was B. really ah, she was really shy. Letter B. Eight. Why did you take this class? Letter E. Letter E. My English wasn't very good. Letter E. All right, we're finished. Now, I want you to ask me these questions. Ruth, ask me question number one. Is a is a read? Ask me question number one. Sorry, I, I didn't understand. Okay, you see question number one? When, when you were uh huh. Ask me. As your teacher. When where were you born? Okay, I was born in Ciudad Delgado. Okay, sorry, I was born in 1971 in Ciudad Delgado, San Salvador. Thank you. Liliana, ask me question number two. Liliana Abigail. Okay, Judith, ask me question number two, please. Okay, uh, when did you start a school? Uh, no, number two, I say. That is number three. Ah, okay. Where did you grow? Grow, grow up? Grow up. I, I grew up in um, San Antonio Bad, San Salvador. Okay, thank you, Judith. Okay. Jacqueline, Vanessa, ask me number three. When did you start the school? I entered first grade in... Uh, let me see, 1975. Thank you. Giovanni, Giovanni Lopez. Four, ask me number four. How old were you, 10? I was six. Stephanie Yamilet, number ask me number five. Stephanie. We don't have a Stephanie. Okay, Miriam Maricela. Ask me number five, please. What was your first day of school? Terrible. It was terrible. I didn't want to go to school. I went crying. My grandmother grabbed me by my arm. Uh, comprado. Yeah. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> I remember that day. 
Okay, let me see. Fatima asked me number seven. No, Farima. Okay, Damaris Lisset. Ask me number. Ask me. Who? Who? Sorry. Fari sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Number seven. Ask me number seven, please. Uh, what was she like? He or she? Okay. He or she like? Yeah. His name was uh, Orlando. Okay, and the last one, Maria El Carmen. Why did you why did you take this class? Okay, in my in this case it's like I went I was in first grade, yeah. Uh, but this is English class. I well, I took my first English class because I needed to learn English. Um and I have great teachers, great teachers. All right. Now understand the question. You're going to ask these questions to your partners and you're going to give personal information, okay? Got it? Okay. Good. Let's go to the breakup room. Uh, Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. What happened? Oh, Henry, here. Yes, I I have connection problem. Okay, let let me see if you but, can if we can fix it now. I'm gonna that, send you to another shot. Okay.
All together now. All together now. Okay, time for the pick. Open your cameras. Huh? <laughs> Great. All right. Open your cameras, people. Munches, munches. Ok, here we go. Poquito vamos a ser famosos. Oh, ahí estamos, más famosos han entrado. Good. All right. Smile. Estamos. One more. And let's go back to the activities. Help me to classify. Okay. Now, can you see my screen? This yeah. says, yes, teacher, and, and says, complete the warm up with word from the list. Classes. Classes, help me. History. History. How much? Elementary. Mm. Math. In classes, no. elementary, no, no. Elementary, elementary no. is uh, a school. Ah, okay, okay. Wait, wait, you said oh, classes. Math, math. What are you doing? History. history, we have his history, we had math. Thanks. Okay. What? What? Science. 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 And yeah, here it is. Math. History, math, okay. science, and physical education. Physical education. <clears throat> Abbreviated P E. That's the abbreviation for physical education. Okay. All right. Schools. Let's see. Schools. Okay. Let me see. With a school, we have. Okay. Classroom. No. College. Yes. College. Yes. yes. College. Elementary. 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 Junior high. Junior high. high. Junior. High. high. And high. High. High for high school. Yeah. They only say high. Got it? College, elementary, junior high, and high or high school. And the last one is places. Gym. Okay, we have the example classroom. Some, uh huh. Gym. 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 Lunchroom. Uh, lunchroom. Lunchroom. Playground. 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 In playground. Okay. Check it. Okay. There it is. Beautiful.
Can we change activity? Yes, my friends? Yeah, you see, Jen. All right. Next activity. Find out about your partner's elementary, junior high, or high school days. Ask these questions. What classes did you take? Oh, I took, I took chemistry, physics, physical education, mathematics, social studies, science, computer studies, literature, etc. What was your favorite class and why? What was your least favorite class? So this is the opposite. Favorite and the least, the, the one that you didn't like. I didn't like physics. Okay. Uh, who was your best? Who was your best friend? Who was your favorite teacher? Who was your least favorite teacher? Siempre hay un teacher que no. Okay. Where did you spend your free time in Hawaii? Joao? Any question? Uh, ¿Qué significa less? Less. Who was your less? Less. Menos yeah. favorito. Ah, ok. O sea, teacher, <laughs> your favorite, así, your least teacher. <laughs> Okay, and where do you spend your free time? Why? Why did you like best? ¿Qué era lo que más te gustaba? These questions are related to a school. Don't get confused, okay? No vean confundir con what, what are your free time activities. No, esa es otra cosa. We're talking about school. Where did you spend your free time? I spend my free time in the basketball court, playing soccer all the time, playing, playing, and playing, playing, running and playing. Yeah. What do you like the best? The breaks. The breaks. And mango, mango with uh, all white, uh, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember. Okay. Okay. Those questions to your partners. Okay. Los panes chucos. <laughs> <laughs> remember old times. Oh, para que volvieran a sus tiempos. Con la conciencia que tenemos ahora sería something really different. Okay, let's go to the rooms. And do not speak Espanol. Don't speak Spanish, please. Only English.
Okay. Do you have fun? Okay, we have more questions. This class is only conversations. Do you remember the first day of class of this class? What did you wear? Were you early, late, or in? or on time, where did you sit? In the front, at the middle, or at the back of the classroom? How did you feel? Who was the first person you met? What did the teacher talk about? Sorry, who talked the most and who talked the least? How was your English then and how is it now? We're talking about the first day of class. Or maybe it can be a, an English class. Okay. Or the first day of school in high school, junior high. You decide. Any questions about any questions about the questions? No, teacher. No? Clear? All right, let's go. Yes.
All right. So let's speak. So open your cameras. Open your cameras, please. Thank you. Thank you. No more? Oh, okay, thank you. There you are. These are the last pictures. Okay, here we go. This is the last one. The, the, the previous one was the penultima. This is the last picture. Yes. Tomorrow, tamales. Tamales de gallina. Conchuco. Uh, Creole, Creole chicken tamales. That we say gallina india, Creole chicken. Okay, Creole, Creole, Creole. Literalmente significa criolla. Entonces no hay una para decir gallina india, es Creole chicken. Okay, now I need someone who want uh, who can read uh, Ricky Martin uh, information, please. Yes, it can. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on December twenty twenty four. Uh, 1971. Um, he was always a performer, has a child. He appeared in television commercials and studied singing. Um, at the age of 12, he he coined the Latin boy band Menudo. Ah. He worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after he after five years. Uh, Martin moved to New Jersey. But he didn't work for for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. So afterward, he rec recorded two Spanish language albums. <clears throat> After he sells. He moved back to USA, uh, but back in the USA, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Let's Let's Miserable, miserable. 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 Mm -hmm. then he made his first English language. And first um, English language album. Mm. That album was called it Ricky Martin. His biggest hits, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he is a famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. <clears throat> Has the has he said to a report for the newspaper? You so today. Um, I want to do this forever. All right, thank you, thank you, Veronica. Now, 
what three cities did Ricky Martin live in? New York City. New York. Mexico City. Mexico City. And San Juan, Puerto, San Puerto Juan, Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay, Puerto Rico. New York City and Mexico City. That's it. Any questions about the article? Any questions? No. No? So what, what is soap opera? Eso le, le quería preguntar, ¿qué ah. significa soap opera? I see that is novela. Yeah. Creo que es el nombre de una. No, soap opera es telenovela. Or novela. All right. Any other? No more? Okay, let's check this information then. Read the article, then write a question for each answer. In Puerto Rico, at the age of 12, after five years, because he was frustrated, less miserable, and living la vida loca. You have six questions, I mean, to create, and you have six answers. Understand the activity? Sería en grupo. Yeah. It's easy, right?
Question number one. You have it? Where was Ricky Martin Brown? Born, yes. Where was Ricky Martin born? Great. Number two. Um, how, how old was joined the band? How old? Um, yeah, yeah, how old? I understand, but the rest um, was joining? No. Any other? How old? Sorry. Yes. Was Ricky Martin? Uh -oh. when... At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So the question is, how old? Es que, teacher, uh -huh. nosotros habíamos escribido con Joao. Uh -huh. How old was he, por no decir que más, eh, when he joined to the yeah, band. Yeah, ahí está bien. How old was Ricky? Mm. When, when he joined to the when band. He, when he joined. When he joined. Mm, the band. Mm. The band. When ah, he joined okay. the band. You want to be more specific? Menudo. When he. When ah, he joined. Okay. Nosotros, perdón, este, Ajá. como sabemos de que estamos hablando de Ricky Martin, no uh -huh. habíamos puesto ni el nombre, pero nos habíamos comido Gwen. Ajá, Gwen. Ok, gracias. Yes, yes. Ok. Uh, three. in the band. Number three. When, when he when he left the group. When did he leave the band? When did he leave the band? When, how? Okay, when did he let the band? Four. Why? Why? Why did, Why did he, he leave the band? The band. Because he was frustrated. Five.
in the Broadway show. Let's me see. Bro. What was the name of the show? What was the name of the show? What the name of the American show? And what was his first hit? Hit. hit. Y ahí lo tenemos. Solo una pregunta, teacher. Yes. En la última respuesta, perdón, solo quiero salir de duda. Uh, no es who, who was. No, what was. What his was first his first hit. hit? What was his first hit? What was. Ok, gracias. Okay. Let's call the attendance, my friends. Before we call the attendance, I want to thank you for um, being the class and learn and participated in this uh, module. You are having progress. Continue learning. It's good. Um, it's good to continue and don't. Okay, don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, no matter if you have uh, difficulties, ask your partners, ask your teacher, study on your own. Don't give up. Ya comenzó. No pare. ¿Tiene dudas? Pregunte. ¿Tiene áreas en las que necesita trabajar? Trabaje más esas áreas. ¿Cuáles son, sus, ¿Cuáles son sus áreas fuertes? Posiblemente sea la gramática, posiblemente sea la escucha, posiblemente sea el speaking o el habla. ¿Cuáles son sus áreas débiles? Ah, puede ser para mí estas, para otro compañero otras. Vocabulario pronunciación, ¿ok? Pero debe dedicarle tiempo. Recuerden, una hora por la noche se va rápido, así que usted tiene que seguir trabajando, right? El beneficio es propio. Así que, continue. Don't stop. Eh, me ha dado mucho gusto haberme encontrado con alumnos que tuve hace un, un par de, de, de cursos y verlos acá, pues, me agrada mucho porque sé que, que no han parado, ¿verdad? Y, y que, que siguen adelante. Eso da, da mucha satisfacción. Así que, pues, espero verlos más adelante también en, en niveles más avanzados. Por supuesto, también ustedes con más progreso, ¿verdad? A darle duro, no paren de estudiar. Sí, Joao. Teacher, muy agradecido con usted, ¿verdad? Por el tiempo que nos ha dedicado la entrega que hace con nosotros, el hecho de, de que si tenemos dudas, usted las disipa. Eh, en lo personal, sé que el trabajo suyo no es fácil, pues, ¿verdad? Pero yo creo que la mejor recompensa que uno puede de estudiante darle al maestro es no detenerse, Correcto. ¿verdad? Y 
muy agradecido con usted, con, con los señores de Insafor, que nos dan la oportunidad, con los compañeros, porque qué bonito es conocer a otras personas y encontrarlas alguna vez y poder disfrutar de un, de un cafecito a un buen tiempo. Hay que yo a las okay. órdenes ahí con todo. Démosle. Muchas, muchas gracias, Joao. Muchas gracias por sus palabras. Bueno, chicos, si no hay más que decir, nos espero un plato de sopa gallina, ¿verdad? Por ahí. <risa> Con tortillas tostadas. Eso mínimo. mínimo. Pedazo de queso fresco, bien sabroso. Uy, yo. Y aguacate. Ya, ya no hablemos más. Vamos a pasar, <ríe> vamos a pasar asistencia. A Caluco mañana. Eso, mínimo. Uh. Okay, Alba Iris over there. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Damari Lisset. I'm here. Thank you. Eduardo Enrique. Se nos fue. Fátima Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Armando. No vino. Giovanni López, aquí estamos. Present, sir. Thank you, Giovanni. Henry Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Isaac, hoy no vino Isaac. Bueno. Se quedó en el jueves de amigos. Eh, se quedó desde ayer. Eh, Jacqueline, Vanessa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Joao. Present teacher. Jose, no Jose today. Juana Inés Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Judy del Carmen. Liliana Abigail. Present teacher. Linda Hazel. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Miriam Maricela. Present. Present. Thank you. Ruth Abigail. I'm here. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilet. <laughs> Tatiana Emilia y Verónica Tatiana. Thank you. Okay, my friends. Time's up. See you soon. Take care. Gracias, teacher, por Cuídense, todo. Cuídense mucho. Thank you, teacher. Nos vemos, compañero, y seguimos en contacto. Goodbye. Yes. Bye. Bye, buenas noches. Good night. Goodbye. Good.